What's going on, YouTube? Landon Huffman here, back with another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this upload, man. I really appreciate you guys being here. Today, we are working on the Pro Late model as well as the Late Model Stock Frankie. So we've got a lot of stuff to accomplish today. The body is almost completely done on the Pro Late model, and we might be making a surprise appearance with it in the next couple of weeks. So just depending on our motor situation, but we're gonna accomplish a lot today. I also need you guys to let me know in the comments what we should name this Pro Late. So Frankie is this car because we Frankenstein the body together. We got to have a name for the Pro Light model. Let me know in the comments what we should call it. Thanks again for clicking on the video. Let's get after it. So on this front end, I guess I'm just an idiot. And at first I was like, well, I don't even know why I need these bars because we don't run anything like this on... The late model stock that runs from the bumper bar all the way up here to the clip but i guess we don't run them on the late model stock because our bumper bars are not 12 feet long so um i don't have exactly the right bolts obviously this one's not long enough and it's barely hanging on here so i'm just putting them in here for the time being so that i can get it up and mounted so i can finish all of this which you guys haven't seen this yet but it was it was a little bit of a project but i got all that old and the new body joined together so that it looks decent so i got to get all that riveted together and fastened today i'm going to go ahead and put the front glass back in it and get all that done and then try to get all of this riveted because i have it all just uh vice script at the moment <clears throat> but yeah i, <laughs> I was just going to take these bars off and say screw it because i didn't think i needed them but now that I think about it, that's kind of dumb because that keeps the nose from moving up and down. I love when shit gets bent up and then you just gotta push it back together and freaking bend it and warp it. And when shit gets broken, it's literally the story of my life. Everything that I have is bent. There we go. I think my nose might be off just a tick, but I don't know. I'm just gonna stick her and let her eat, and if it's off, I'll just let the old man yell at me. Won't be the first time I've gotten yelled at. Got all the right side stuff done. All I had was white rivets. I would probably would have rather used black, but we gotta make do with what we got. I'm gonna wrap this door black anyways, so it is what it is. Now, I need to get this hood and fenders, or not hood, uh, nose and fenders riveted together. So that's the next step, and then I'm gonna work on my braces, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I ran up, grabbed some lunch, come back down here. It's pouring rain outside. Every time it rains, I find a new leak. So we have another leak. This time it is literally leaking on the back of the prolate. Uh, so I'll show you guys this. I already wiped it up. I was gone for about an hour, come back down here. And uh, yeah, so we got, a, we got a major leak. We got to fix that. But uh, I'm also going to throw this up right here. Uh, while I was up there, I tweeted at Freddie Kraft, who's a good friend of mine. He spotted for me when I ran a couple of truck series races. He's a host of the uh, Door Bumper Clear podcast over at Dirty Mo Media. And I tweeted at him. I said, since Dirty or since uh, the DBC podcast is sponsoring their first race car in Justin Algaier, if I get 750 likes on the tweet whenever I make my pro late model debut at Hickory, hopefully April 2nd that I would put Freddie's face on the hood of my car. 
Well, it hit 750 likes in like less than four hours, three hours. So Freddy's face is going on the hood of my car, I guess. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. But like I said, I'll put that right up here so you guys can check it out. All right, back to work. Here's our damn leak. It's coming straight through that hole. Hitting the quarter panel and rolling off in the floor. But when I came over here, this whole floor was soaked. It's like, yes, fantastic. So whenever it stops raining, you can see it dripping right there. I've got to fix that. I don't know if it's coming through the roof or how. Obviously, it's coming through the roof, but I don't know. I don't know where. So I'm going to have to get up top and see what the hell to do to fix that. So time being, I'm just going to let it drip until I can get this car on the ground and roll it around. All right, now that I've got the nose riveted on, best it's gonna go anyways, I need to work on my fender braces that are gonna go from here to here, or here to here, whichever, probably here to here. But I'm gonna have to have something come out to here and hold this, so. Gotta figure that out on both sides, and then uh, nose will be finished, pretty much. Gotta find a hood that fits. I have to use the black that I have to wrap both this and Frankie, or the right rear of Frankie. I have mad respect for people that decal things like by themselves when it comes to huge, massive pieces of vinyl because that shit is hard. It's hard to not screw it up. It's hard to like not make it look like shit. I don't know. Mad props to those guys. Like Dylan does a fantastic job and usually has no help. It's also hard with like a regular blade. I always screw something up with this, so this makes me really nervous. Or I like damn near cut myself. Been there, done that a lot. All right, right side's done. Oh, I got a piece I left on here. <clears throat> Not bad for an old girl. Took me forever, but we got it done. So, nose is on it. Um, I do need to see if that ductwork's gonna fit. So I might pull that up here, make sure all that's good. And then uh, I'll just be going over some stuff to get it ready to set the motor down in it. I also had this little extra piece of uh, black, so I just went ahead and put it on top of there because I'm gonna have to piece together this quarter anyways on Frankie. Oh yeah, beautiful. Depending on where the radiator sits, I mean, it should work. And if I have to move it around just a bit to get her dialed in, we can do it. I really like how that's setting, but I'll know more whenever the radiator's in it, but good enough, at least for now. All right, I think this is gonna be my stopping point. I've got the front glass back in it. Obviously it needs to be cleaned, but uh, I just got a few of the bolts in it right now, just making sure it's gonna fit right. Got my cow piece back in, uh, it's all gonna fit. So we are digging, ductwork's gonna fit. Nose looks good. She might, she might not look too bad. Remember, let me know in the comments what we are gonna name this old girl. Right side doesn't look bad either. Very nice. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. 
I am the lone employee at Huffman Racing, so whenever we're working, why it's leaving back there. Whenever I'm working in there, I feel like I'm accomplishing a lot. The day goes by so fast, and then I really at the end, I feel like I don't really get that much done, but we did get the body completely finished on the Prolate model and be putting a motor down in it before long here. So thanks again for all the support. Each one of these videos keep going better and better. I'm really excited to get into racing season and Hopefully the channel continues to grow like it has been, especially once we get into more race day vlogs. But thanks again. And uh, if you haven't already hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It's completely free, man. Helps the channel out. Uh, let's shoot for 350 likes on this video. We've been getting around that much. So I think we could do that again. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a fantastic evening, morning, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you in the next one. I'm out.